We come to week three of our Lenten Cross. In the first week, we looked at how the scripture and the Holy Spirit guide our lives as they guided Jesus in the wilderness. In the second week, we looked at how Jesus served. He came to be a servant king. And in the third week, we now look at how Jesus shared bread. The reading from Luke chapter 9, verses 12 to 17. The day was drawing to a close, and the twelve came to him and said, Send the crowd away so that they may go into the surrounding villages and countryside to lodge and get provisions, for we are here in a deserted place. But he said to them, You give them something to eat. They said, We have no more than five loaves and two fish, unless we are to go and buy food for all these people. For there were about five thousand men. And he said to his disciples, Make them sit down in groups of about fifty each. They did so and made them all sit down. And taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke them, and gave them to the disciples to set before the crowd, and all ate and were filled. What was left over was gathered up, twelve baskets of broken pieces. The painting here is of Jesus feeding the 5,000. It's from the Methodist Modern Art Collection. The artist Eularia Clark sets the feeding of the 5,000 in modern dress and follows Matthew's account in which women and children are present. The multitude has sat down in the grass as Jesus requested and is eating not the fish and bread referred to in the Bible but, as in much of Clark's work, a 20th century equivalent, fish and chips. The scene is more reminiscent of a church picnic than the biblical miracle. Tea is brewing in the lower right corner, bicycles and footballs are discarded, children and babies are remarkably well behaved, some people doze, others pay attention to the priest, or is it Jesus, whose head and shoulders are uncomfortably cut off by the edge of the painting? As we look at the picture, we imagine what it would be like to be in the midst of of that miracle of the feeding. And we ask ourselves the question as we listen, how can we share the resources we have with others?
Let us pray. Lord, show us how we can live as broken, blessed, thankful and sharing people as we break bread this week. Help us to be particularly conscious of all those who need to be held in your care. Amen.